Have you ever run into a situation where when you are writing your code and you push in commits after commits and after a while you go around your site and you found a bug. Now this bug could happen at any time between your last commit and the last a thousand commits. So this makes it extremely hard to track down what happened and from where did your you know bug happened. So instead of going one by one commits, you know, which is time consuming, it will probably frustrate you. So you know you might feel like Kanye West when he was on Sway. Um, unfortunately I cannot play the audio uh, during the recording but you should check out this video. This is basically what I feel like when I can't track down the bug. Now especially if you work in a team environment where somebody else could commit their code too. So now you have to sift through their code and try to figure out what happened. So today I'm going to show you a way where you can use uh, this feature from Git called Git by Set to quickly find the actual commit that caused the bug. So for demonstration purposes, uh, we're going to set up a sample website and we're gonna do our experiment there. But before that, let's look at the algorithm of how Git by Set works. Git by Set works as a binary search algorithm. It basically splits your list of commits into half for the first step, and then you tell Git whether the first half, have, half, first half still has the bug or the second half has the bug. So if, it, if the second half has the bug, you separate that further to another half and then you just keep going and keep going until you can find the commit. This is a binary search algorithm so this is a lot faster than going through commits one by one. So let's look at an example. So here I have a website, right? Um, it's like a standard bootstrap website. Um, you can follow along if you follow my uh, GitHub page for this project, you can go in there and then git pull it so you can follow along. Um, you need to go into the git by sec folder and then just open up index.html in your in your browser. So when I click on this button, make something happen, something will needs to happen, but when I click on it now, nothing happens. So this means somewhere along the line in my history, this code was functioning at one point but now it doesn't have doesn't work, so you know uh, for demonstration purposes, this there's only like 20 commits for this. But let's say you have a thousand commits, you know you don't want to go through all your commits. So there's a way to do that. Let's open uh, our terminal and go into the projects. Let's use git by set to find out which commit we uh, we made a mistake on. So to start, you had to do git by set starts. Um, need to the top of the working tree. I think, oh okay, I think I need to go to the main, yeah, the root folder of my project. So you do git by set start. Now this means, it says bisecting. So this means um, the bisecting process has started. Now on our current uh, point our code in uh, master branch the code is not working so we need to designate this location as the back commit so you do git by set bad and now we need to go to um, a point of time where we can f where, where we think the uh, git commit was good so you need to remember a time where the commit was good so to do that you get two ways you can either do git log to find out, like, to look at a list of your commits and to figure out where, you know, you think it was working. Or you can go to the GitHub, um, you can go to, you know, commits history, and look at your commits. So for demonstration purposes, I made a, you know, a note here that says works. So this means, you know, at that point the code works. But for you, it could be any message, so it's up to you to figure out what way. The best way, like, you can go back to, like, 10 days ago or something and then just copy uh, the shell and stuff on there. But for our demonstration purposes, well, I'm gonna put it here. So you have to click on copy the full shell. This will copy it to, to your keyboard. Now you do a git 
check out of that point in time. So when you do that, uh, now your code is at that point where that commit has happened. So if you refresh the index.html, and then I click on something, hey, something happened. So this means the code was working at this point. So we need to tell git by set that this is a good point. And now, after you designate what's good, git by set will start its uh, division process, the, the binary search process. So this means uh, it will automatically switch your code to a certain point in time. And all you have to do is refresh the page, and then you tell you test it out. You tell git by set whether this is good or bad. So, so far this is good again. So I'm going to tell it at this point, git by set is good. And now it switched to another point in time. And then let me refresh the code. Let me press it. Hmm, it doesn't work. So this is bad. Git by set bad. And now let's refresh again. And it still doesn't work. So we have to tell git by set bad again. And what a, look at this. This means git by set has found the bad commits. So the commit with the message, hmm, this is a weird commit. It's the point in time where we committed the bad code. So let's go into that point in time and see what happened. So you just click on you know random URL, you just replace the SHA with the one that git by set tells you. So this code here broke our code. So let's see what we did. Oh, we removed the part two jumbotron, whereas when you click it, that jumbotron should appear. And we change our code to rename the selectors. So they're basically wrong selectors. That's why it didn't work. So as you can see, you can quickly tell what the issue is. So now we can just go back to the code and fix it, right? So you do good. Now we're finished. We get by set. We can tell it to reset. And now we're back on master branch. And now we know exactly where the error is. We just need to go to these files and then fix it. So in index.html, we need to get back this div here. Uh, we just need to, uh, uh, there's no easy way to copy this. I'm just going to copy this here in the index.html. So we're going to paste it back. Let me get rid of this thing. And then we need to fix the JavaScript, which is in here. As we can tell, this name is wrong. It's so when you press save, and then you go back to the code, and you refresh, and it still doesn't work. Now, why is that? Maybe I didn't fix it correctly? Jumbotron part 2 which is here. Oh, I wish this works the first time I try it. Yep, bear with me here. So you press this button and then, oh, because I misspelled here, it should be Jumbotron. Okay, so when we do this, it should work yay so this is really a amazing tool from git and it's built into any git client so i suggest you use it uh, to find your bug next time and i hope you find this tutorial useful uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on twitter thanks